Welcome back to Colorado's Best. The pandemic changed a lot for many folks, including the grieving process. There are ways and support systems in place to help you manage the feelings that come with losing a loved one. Debbie Stafford, a FEMA crisis counseling program manager for the Aurora Mental Health Center, joins us now over Zoom. How are you? Well, I'm doing very well and uh, happy Friday to everyone. I know. I love it when Friday rolls around. Um, we're talking today about how the pandemic has impacted how people grieve. How has it impacted this? Well, we've really followed the pandemic to the similar stages of grief. If anybody can go back and remember when things began to change, it's going into shock, maybe even denial. For many people, first wondering even how their world would be impacted, their jobs, um, their safety. Uh, and as we have moved through the stages of grief uh, with the pandemic, what we're realizing is there are people at this point who are trying to figure out how they manage the losses that they've gone through. And for some people, that can reach a level of anger, of depression, and it can really impact how people uh, have a sense of isolation and they've lost their sense of anchoring and uh, kind of feeling secure and safe. Yeah, I think everyone has felt this to, uh, to a certain extent. And how have families who have lost a loved one to COVID or any other cause managed mm -hmm. saying goodbye with so many of the changes on how funerals, tributes and gatherings can take place? Well, it's been traumatic for many families. And, and we, we know the many stories of how many people had their loved ones in a senior facility or they were not able to feel like they could be there in person. Maybe people had a loved one who was ill, ended up in the hospital, um, had to say goodbye to that loved one and do it more di with distance or remoteness. That has added a layer of trauma. There are many people who lost a loved one through COVID and who have postponed even their, their services, have postponed honoring uh, their loved ones. And we're starting to see an increase of people who are just now beginning to say goodbye to somebody that they may have lost through the pandemic. Yeah, it's a lot has been happening. Um, mm -hmm. and, and what about people who have lost jobs, homes, and a sense of normal? How have they managed grief? Well, there's been a lot of loss in many ways. And what we've seen is um, some people have managed reasonably well. There are those who have used things like alcohol or drugs to self-medicate in their pain or frustration. I think we've seen an increase in depression. We've seen an increase in people who've considered taking their lives and um, an increase in domestic violence. And so one of the things that, that we're trying to do and on behalf of FEMA and the Colorado Spirit Program and the Aurora Mental Health Center is to say to people, you're not alone. There are places that you can reach out to. There are people you can talk to. You're not alone. Yeah, that really does go a long way. So other than telling people they're not alone, how, how can we be more supportive of people experiencing grief? We've been able to implement a support line where um, anybody, it doesn't matter where you are, can call in. We have trained counselors that can talk you through situations, connect you to additional resources. We've been able to help people even get connected for um, housing and other necessary supports in the community. But, but we do have people on our support line ready and able to talk to you and get you connected so that you can find you're not alone. Is there financial support for people who have lost a loved one to COVID directly? Yes, um, a lot of people don't realize it and, uh, and families have to discover this on their, on their own. But FEMA on the FEMA website actually has provided financial assistance if somebody actually lost a loved one and it is identified that it was a COVID loss, families can, can go in and they can apply for reimbursement for, the, for uh, their burial expenses. And, it, and I think it's a very little known uh, piece of information that can support families who are grieving and hurting and in crisis. 
Thank you so much for all of the information. We really appreciate it. And all of you out there can call the Aurora Mental Health Center at 303-617-2300 to get more information and resources. That number again is 303-617-2300. And you can also find more information at AUMHC.org.